Hey guys, happy Halloween. So if you're like me, um, trick-or-treating kind of causes me a little bit of anxiety because <laughs> of all the crazy candy that our kids are going to get. Um, it makes me anxious. I don't know if it makes you anxious, but I always like to have something that I can swap the candy out with. Also, a friend told me that she has this like witches game where um, she has her kids take a little pile of candy and the rest they give to the witches um, so that the witches are nice and, you know, protect them and are their friends. Um, so besides the witches game, <laughs> which I think I'm actually going to try this year, um, I also like making a healthy substitute for the candy so I can do like a little switch with chocolate, but chocolate that I know how the chocolate is made. I know it's organic, at least non-GMO. I know that it's, you know, filled with an apple at least inside. <laughs> so there's like something healthy and I can control the amount of sugar that's going into this. So something that I like to make are these chocolate covered apple bites and you can put different kind of toppings. Like I do, my kids love sprinkles, like whatever your kids love, put those on it. So my kids love sprinkles. My son loves candy ginger. And then I'm also going to top it with some crushed peanuts. So these are things that my kids love. But if your kids love different kinds of chocolate or caramels or peanut butter filled chocolate cups or whatever, just chop those up really small. And then you're going to roll the little apple bites in them. So here's a little trick that I like to do <laughs> with my kids to control the amount of sugar that's going to be going into them today. So first let's lay out our little candy type toppings. So we have our ginger, our sprinkles. Here's a little trick for uh, crushing nuts. Don't make it weird. So I do this for a lot of different recipes. It just makes it a lot easier. This is just like, a, I use this when I'm like pounding chicken or this is for like tenderizing, but using the flat end. Okay, good. That's looking really good. So let's pour this into a dish. Also, whenever I use plastic baggies, I like to use my plastic baggies as much as possible just to like reduce and reuse. So I actually bought this really cheap thing online. It's just like these wooden um, sticks that come out. You can wash them, hang them on their dry, and you just reuse them over and over again. So I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna wash this later. And now we have our toppings. Okay, cool. So chill your apples and now we're going to peel our apples and cut them into little cubes. So I like to peel them because it helps the chocolate stick. So for today, I'm using Honeycrisp apples. If your kids like a little more tart, you can go Granny Smith. My kids actually don't like the tartness of the Granny Smith. So we're going Honeycrisp. I also really love Fuji's as well, but for this, the Honeycrisp has a little bit of tartness, which I like, but not as much as Granny Smith. And I think it tastes really good with the chocolate and the little candies on it. So that's why I'm going with Honeycrisp today. The Fuji flavor kind of disappears a little bit inside of it. See, if I had one of my prep on boards, I could just swipe right, but I don't. So now I got to take a pause of <laughs> the garbage. Oh, well, I'll be back don't have any of my boards with me. I got to start traveling with them. Now I'm going to cut these into like one and a half inch pieces. Let's just take a look. Again, this is totally your preference. My kids are younger, so I kind of want it to be like bite size for them. Like that's a nice little piece. One and a half to two inches. And the other thing we're going to do too, guys, is whatever toothpicks you have at home. I got these cute little bat ghost ones and I just ordered them like skeleton ones. I just ordered these online. So then I'm going to stick that and we're going to cover it in chocolate and then it sits like that and the kid's going to grab it and eat it. So you want it to have a flat surface so it stands upright. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so cute. See if they look cute and they're going to still have this candy on it with chocolate, your kids will, I mean, if they're like mine, they'll happily take the swap because a lot of the candy they get it's not even good. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I would much rather have something homemade like this, but you know, I'm also like a mom. 
<laughs> Who cares about what my kids eat? I'm actually just gonna do two apples and I'm just gonna eat this. Let's just do two apples. So remember to put a quick chill on your apple. That's also gonna help the chocolate like adhere to it. Um, I'm sure room temperature is fine too. I just, a chef friend told me to do that. So that's what I do. But I'm sure room temperature will work great for you. I'm all about just, you know, keep it easy on yourselves. Okay, yeah, this is a good amount. We're just gonna do two apples. Okay, let's melt the chocolate. So you wanna use a double boiler because we're gonna be melting chocolate. So I don't have a double boiler here, so I'm making a makeshift one, which is just a metal bowl, heat safe bowl, and I'm boiling one inch of water. So as soon as this boils, I'm gonna turn it low and just keep a steady little simmer and then put the chocolate in here. One and a half cups of chocolate, one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil, and we'll gently stir it as it melts, and then it's ready to go. A double boiler might sound a little scary for some people. It's really not, it's so easy. I mean, look at this. It's literally, you know, a pan, a little pot with water and a bowl. But it just gently melts the chocolate. And that's already getting pretty warm, so I'm gonna dump in my chocolate and then we're gonna get a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil I also love the flavor of coconut oil and chocolate it's really nice and mild helps it with that silky consistency it makes it nice for for dippage okay so if you're gonna touch this bowl be very, very careful because this is all going to be very hot. They're already starting to melt. Oh my gosh, my kids are at the park right now, but when they get back, they're going to lose their minds when they see these. So see, it's just starting to gently melt. And soon when this is all melted, it's going to look beautiful and silky. These are semi-sweet chocolate. You can also use dark chocolate, but I find that when my kids have dark chocolate, it's like they had coffee. <laughs> so I try to use milk chocolate, semi-sweet milk chocolate. Ooh, that's starting to come together nicely. You want to keep it active. You want to keep stirring it. See? See how it turns so quickly? Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to turn down the flame. Again, be really careful, guys, because the bowl does get hot. You just want to keep it moving. Okay, this is almost ready. So now after this is all melted, we're going to put it into a mug. Um, the reason I'm using a mug is so you get more of that depth in a smaller space, so it's better for dippage. Okay, this is ready to go, it's beautiful. Okay, so protect your hands always. And I'm using a mug that <laughs> my kids painted. This is gonna be great for dippage. See how deep that is? It's gonna be perfect. So now let's take our sticks. We're gonna put them in our apples. Have a baking tray with parchment paper. We're gonna spray it with a little bit of cooking spray because we don't want the chocolate to stick to the paper. Oh my gosh, my son is obsessed with spiders. He's gonna love that. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, it's the little things, guys. You wanna make it cute and enticing so that they don't miss their candy, you know what I mean? Okay, time for dippage. Look at how cute. By the way, a little bit of, depending on how young your kids are, parental supervision is advised because when these come out, they are pointy, so just careful. Okay, let's start with a spider. Dippage. Now, once you get the, um, the chocolate on there, you wanna work kinda quickly. So this one, let's start with some rainbow sprinkles. That's <laughs> so cute! All right, let's keep going. My son is obsessed with candy ginger, so I'm gonna do candy ginger on this one. Okay, so I got another plate to make my work a little easier here. So this one, I'm gonna do candy ginger. Now this is a little heavier, so I'm gonna have to kind of press it on. And then after we get all of our candies on, these are gonna go in the fridge so that the chocolate sets. So we wanna move kind of quickly. So I'm just gonna continue with all the rest of these the exact same way. Dip and cover. How do you not want to eat that? I tried finding orange sprinkles, um, but at my local place where I 
you know, get my, normally I try to get all my, you know, fresh produce from farmer's markets, local farmer's markets, but little candies and stuff like this, you know, I usually go to my local Whole Foods or some other health food store and I couldn't find orange sprinkles. If you guys have orange sprinkles, by all means, use those. Wow, this looks so good. My kids are going to flip out. Okay, so now we're going to pop these in the fridge for 15 minutes so that the chocolate sets. Just took these out of the fridge. Look at how cute. You can tell the chocolate is set. It gets like this matte, silky finish, and it just looks so good. Okay, let's put these into a little tray. I'm going to get a butter knife in case some of them stick. The cooking spray really helps them come off easily, but just in case there's some clumsy ones, I'm going to get a butter knife. Hang on. Whoa, my kids are going to flip out. And it was fun to make. You can also make this with your kids. It's a fun activity for them. They just have to be careful of the toothpicks. But I always like giving my kids some safe jobs to do in the kitchen. So even if you guys put the toothpicks in first and they just do the chocolate on the toppings, that's good too. So here are our chocolate dipped candy apples. A healthier swap. <laughs> it's Halloween candy. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Happy Halloween. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another video. And I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to go put these by the door <laughs> instead of candy. Yay.